Hi guys, Tom Vapes here. Um, this video is going to be showing you how to uh, recoil the an Ithaca or an Ithaca clone, Ithaca, whatever you want to call it. I've got a review on this tank um, if you're interested in watching that. But in this one I'm just going to um, show you how to recoil it. Um, I've done it a fair few times now. Um, it's not too bad at the minute. It's nearly empty but um, it's holding flavour from a previous um, liquid that I put in. I did try and clean the wicks out but I just can't get rid of it. Um, so I thought I might as well make the most of having to recoil it and show how to do that. Uh, it's pretty straightforward once you've done it a couple of times. Um, I think even the first time was pretty easy really. Um, I will show a couple of ways of recoiling it as well. You can dual coil this as well. Um, I'll just give it a vape now with this coil that's been in nearly three weeks I think. So I'll show you how it's vaping after three weeks. Uh, this battery in here has been on for nearly all day so the battery is not kicking out much power anymore. So you see it's not too bad. The air flow was completely wide open then as well, so let's try it with it a bit tighter. As you can see it's not too bad, it's just that I'm getting the the old flavour through because it had a bit of menthol, mentholy type flavour. So I can't get rid of the menthol, obviously. I can't with most liquids, but I'll um, I'll uh, go to close up cam, um, and I'll take it apart. I won't go into much detail of all the parts, um, because I want to try and keep this video a bit shorter than my last ones have been. Um, I'll just show you how to re-wick it, basically. So close up cam. Right, so this is all the pieces for the Ithaca. Um, I'm not going to explain what they all are in this video. If, if you want to see about how the uh, Ithaca comes apart and goes together, you'll have to watch my other video. So this is really the only bit we need. And as you can see, the wicks are pretty mucky. So this bit here just comes off <laughs> nearly there, there we go, that bit's done it's all very juicy, I'm going to give the tank a nice thorough clean off before I put it all back together, so this little rubber washer here just pops off like that and then you can take out the two wires on that side like that and then there's a little uh, nut thing here, the black nut just loosen that off and unwrap those there in the bin, so that's the first bit done. Now I'm, uh, I'm just going to nip and clean this out, and then we'll get to the wicking. Right, so I've cleaned out the uh, ceramic pot, nice and clean. Can't smell the other liquid anymore. I'll just clean it out with a bit of warm water. Seems to work just fine. Um, so we're ready to make the wicks. So what we've got here is I've got two ready wires here as um, it requires um, a mix of resistance wire which you probably can't tell on, on the camera. The, see that bit there that's not shiny, that bit? That's your, that's your 
it's got resistance and this bit has got no resistance so that bit won't get hot because obviously that goes uh, down there and then on the other side it will go down there so obviously you don't want it getting hot on the metal part because it will uh, it'll obviously heat all that bit up uh, and those ready wires are from Stealth Vape um, .co.uk and the the wick that I'm using is two millimeter uh, silica wick. Again, that's from Stealth Vape. Uh, yeah, StealthVape.co.uk. Sorry, I completely forgot the name of the website. Then um, now I've already cut these. It was a meter long piece. I've cut these just to save a bit of time. Um, because I sort of know the side, the size that it needs to be, so I'm not wasting too much. Um, and then I've got two little pieces here. Now you don't have to do this, but I like to put these in the middle and wrap the coil around them both. Uh, it just seems to hold a bit. It holds more juice, obviously, because there's more there. Um, so. I basically. Well, this bit's simple. If you've seen a video of someone coiling before, it's pretty much all the same. I start at the beginning of the um, the resistance wire, and I'm just going for as many wraps as I can get because I know that if I get as many wraps as I can get on. It will come out about point seven eight ohms, zero point seven eight ohms, roundabout, and that's how I like it. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'll just do this for both of them. That's not in the middle. Just shuffle it up a bit. Now I find the closer your coil is together, the warmer your vape. So if you like it, if you like a warm vape, get your coil as tight together as possible. Oh, I'm doing it all off camera. Sorry, guys. I don't coil on camera very often, so when I do, I find it really awkward. So this is a good bit of practice for me. There we go. I'll just do a bit of uh, shuffling around here. And there, we're done. Make sure the both, both your legs are pointing down. Which they are on both of mine. And we'll put one in here. So, just sit it across. Now you can do a diagonal. You can do them diagonally. If you like. But oh, on this one, I had my last one. No, I didn't. The one before that was diagonal. Um, and I had a few little issues with it. I haven't quite worked out whether that was just me. Or i am not really figured out what I was doing wrong yet. So... To make sure it works at the end of the review or the coil tutorial, whatever you want to call it, I am going to just put it in straight across just to make sure that nothing's wrong at the end. So I'm going to lay them both in, get them in nice and snug, and then I'll. Uh, connect up to the negative and positive connections after. There we go. There we go. Uh, I've done it all a bit off camera. We're not looking too bad there. I suppose. 
I'm using a different camera as well today guys so that's part of the reason I keep forgetting exactly where the camera's positioned so just shuffle this uh, rubber washer up get these two now on this little metal on that metal ring there there's some grooves so you can just uh, Oh, actually, I f completely forgot to do the other side first. The other side is usually easier to do. So you unwind this black uh, nut type thing there. Get your two wires and twist them round. I just go around once. It's more than enough. <clears throat> Screw your black washer up. Like so. Other side, take the two wires, uh, clip them into the grooves in that little metal ring, if you can. Yeah, that's one. And then just twist it round like that. Same with the other one, if I can get it in. There we, there we go. Twist it round. Push the little rub, rubber washer right up. Make sure oh, it slipped out of the channel. Damn it. Make sure they stay in the channels, which they now are. And then just clip your excess wire off with whatever you want. Proper wire snips. I've seen people do it with nail clippers. If you're going to use scissors and you're doing it on camera, make sure they're sharp before you do it. And then just tuck away the. Uh, Just took away your uh, little bits that are left over. And there we go. Cat took them away. There we go. Get in there. There we go. And that's it. Done. Nice and simple. Now you can trim these off. I'm going to do because a couple of them are a bit long. So I usually just trim them off about um, to the end of that rubber washer usually if I can do it yeah right so what I've done here is uh, I've put the um, the coil and the wick back in its base and I like to just dab some uh, liquid onto the wicks before I put it all back together so when you fill the tank up it um, it doesn't take as long to all soak in let's prime them all there we go that should do uh, what I'm going to fill it up with is a totally wicked blackcurrant flavour um, it's just a bit of wick sticking out, I don't know. Right, so I'll put it back together, I'll fill it up, and we'll give it a bit, see how it works. Right, so I'll go back to 
No, in fact, I'll, I'll show you how to put it back, back together. I wasn't going to do this as I've done a separate video on on the Ithaca. That bit goes on. That bit goes on. Tank section. Right, I'm going to go back to normal cam and I'll fill it up on the normal cam. Right, so I've left it soaking a bit. Um, it's not the um, it's not producing the best vapour that I've had out of it, but I think this uh, liquid's a bit more PG and the battery um, is obviously it's been off charge all day, so it's probably not running at its best. Um, right, so I'll give it a vapour and uh, show you how it works. The uh, airflow control was pretty much closed off, or nearly closed off there. That's about, that's better. So it's still not too bad. I think the uh, the coils on the wick just want uh, shuffling around a bit, and obviously with a battery in it, a fully charged battery, it'd be better. Uh, with a kick, it's amazing with a kick in it. Um, I haven't got any kicks at the minute. I've got a couple on the way, so I should have some videos on those soon. So as you can see, works exactly as it should. And building the coils on it's uh, so simple once you've done it. You, I only had to do it once and then I'd got the hang of exactly how I needed to do it. Um, so it's not it's really not a difficult mod uh, tank sorry, to build coils for at all. It's probably one of the easiest rebuildables I've used so far. Um, Rebuildables wise I've got a few drippers and a few uh, Genesis type tanks coming soon so hopefully I should have videos on, uh, on those soon so keep a look out for those. So thanks for watching guys. If you like my video comment, like it or subscribe.